with two final words. Uh, we're continuing to battle two large-scale wildfires in the state. We have 15 large active wildfires, two notable fires. The Dixie Fire, which is 807,000 acres burned in Northern California, about 46 percent uh, now contained. Progress being made on the second largest active fire in California's history, the Dixie. But the fire that's generating most consternation right now, a lot of stress, understandably so, uh, and is now precipitated in evacuations, mandatory evacua evacuations in the South Lake Tahoe area, uh, is the Calder Fire. I've been up a number of occasions, be back there tomorrow. Uh, we continue to battle that fire, uh, about 192,000 acres, 16 percent contained. But we are making some progress, and I just want to thank uh, all of the extraordinary work that is being done uh, by 14,000 active personnel, dozer, hand crews, uh, folks on the line, firefighters from all over the country, the mutual aid system alive and well, not just state, but federal partners, as well as local partners that are battling these active wildfires. Still a lot of work to do, uh, but I just want to thank the men and women up there in uniform that are doing heroic work uh, and battling that Calder fire every single day, as they have been for now a number of weeks. So with that, we're, of course, here happy to answer any questions. And just to follow up to your comments uh, about the Caldor fire, obviously a lot of people who have evacuated South Lake Tahoe and the surrounding areas are anxiously watching this firefight. What would be your direct message to them as they watch? It's the number one priority in the state. It's our number one priority. We're putting everything we've got on it. You'll see DC-10s taking off and landing from nearby air bases, putting down that red retardant. I was up there at the fire a couple days ago, and uh, you saw clockwork. Dozens of helicopters uh, coming in and pulling water out of the reservoirs, dumping actively these, uh, these, uh, these helicopters, the helitac crews uh, actively trying to suppress this fire, the hand crews out there. We've got National Guardsmen out there, conservation crew folks out there. CDCR has folks out there. So we're putting everything we can on this, federal partners. The president's been just magnificent. Uh, the major disaster declaration that we requested within 24 hours was signed off on to provide disaster assistance to individuals and businesses across the spectrum uh, with all of these active fires across the state. So all I can say is uh, we're doing everything in our power to have your back. That said, I was up there at Grizzly Flats, another community wiped off the map. It's just a reminder that traditions, histories, memories, it's not just about greenhouse gas emissions, it's about a pollution blanket that we put into the atmosphere over the course of the last century in this country. And we've got to recognize that we are experiencing extremes, extreme weather conditions that are precipitating uh, these fires and creating fire conditions the likes of which we've never seen in our lifetimes. And so we'll deal situationally as we do here in California to suppress these wildfires, but we have to deal with the sustainable responsibility to continue to lead on climate change. And that is our resolve and commitment, a backseat to no one in this country in terms of our commitment to radically change the ways that we produce and consume energy in our state.